congrats to Matthew Williams. Yeah, of course, it's huge congratulations to him. News just broke, what, recent, just today, actually. Um, it's probably the worst kept secret in fashion, I'd say, for the most part. I think everyone, with anyone with their finger on a pulse, anyone that follows, you know, a certain individual on social, like Pam Boy, and a few other people would have known that this news was already kind of been spoken about for a while. But um, Matthew Williams has been formally announced as the head is it no where is he for me now as the head creative or is it artistic director of Givenchy um really really big news for him so definitely congrats and a really good example of just how far the Kanye influence spreads in it like he's been able to essentially get three of his best mates you know or two of his best mates some really stellar jobs and the announcement on Instagram was really really cool so this is from Instagram here I'll put it up on here on screen it says the following it says I'm grateful I'm sorry I'm extremely honored to join the house of Givenchy the Maison's unique position and timeless aura make f make it an undeniable icon and I'm looking forward to working together with his ateliers and teams to move it into a new era based on modernity and creativity I'm grateful to LVMH group for trusting me for the opportunity to fulfill my lifelong dream in these unprecedented times of the world I want to send a message of hope and and together with my community and colleagues and intend to contribute towards positive change so i think it's really cool personally and again goes to show just how far just how important of a figure Kanye West is in the fashion industry more so than people want to want to really give him credit for from the stuff he's doing with Yeezy in terms of manufacturing in terms of product in terms of lookbooks in terms of presentation to obviously the fact that he's been able to um, mentor in some way shape or form or have his influence be seen in a work of Jerry Lorenzo Virgil of course Matthew Williams um, there's a few other people Don Don C is even a good example all right um, they've all been kind of been able to permeate culture in their own really unique ways and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing what Matthew Williams vision of Givenchy is going forward again I'm not that au fait with the house of Givenchy Don't, I stopped paying attention after Ricardo Tishi left I thought that was probably one of my favorite eras in fashion hands down it sort of reminded me of the golden era of Tom Ford at Gucci um, it was sort of like a, a, a return to like modern masculinity I think because I spent so much time obsessed with Raphs Simmons, right and that era of um masculinity that was really skinny really gaunt to see someone like ricardo tushi present this really overtly masculine uh male caricature or male figure um to really kind of uh, put that on a platform was something that really inspired me and really kind of captured my imagination but since then i've sort of like you know pulled back and not really gave given much of my attention to the house of Givenchy. but i'll be interested to see what matthew williams can do to that house how he can reinvent it how he can maybe maybe not reinvent it, maybe just go back to the archives and just kind of give his interpretation on the archive pieces they have maybe similar to what demo did at balenciaga right taking some codes from the house and it's basically giving it his twist or his presentation style towards it or he could do a completely different take and you know really um what's that called really defy expectation and come with something completely different completely fresh you know people love to kind of i feel as if he i feel as if matthew williams more so than anyone in that group is probably one of the people that rejects the the streetwear tag more than most people i think he views himself as a bridge between streetwear and menswear or fashion right he's what he thinks he's he's going to be able to kind of carry those kids through um so if that's the case i'd imagine he'd probably want to steer away from doing anything that would be deemed as streetwear he'd want to make it luxe and contemporary if that makes any sort of sense but he wouldn't want it to be quintessential hoodies t-shirts and trainers we probably still might see those things being introduced because i think you know a good way to win with getting these kind of jobs i'd imagine so right it would be just to create some really stellar um popular items that just sell through really well I, i'd imagine you know virgil abloh sort of like luggage um and little kind of pouches and belts and saddles and harnesses and stuff those kind of things may sell just well year in year out regardless and i think it's matthew williams is able to do the same thing as Givenchy, maybe introducing you know a maybe not a belt maybe he's kind of worn that one out but something a, a trainer uh, a trinket some sort of belt holder i don't know whatever he decides to do that just sells really well that will buy him a lot of time so he can experiment a bit more with what he does on a runway or he might just go completely commercial and decide to turn the job that he's got at Givenchy into his sort of like you know 
um Armani apprenticeship right to sort of go through and do the Armani thing and present you know 155 looks of just pure utter menswear clothing I don't know I, I'd interested to see what option he kind of goes down here but sees our post regarding the appointment um some images here precious by Paolo, Paolo Reversi of course um iconic fashion photographer and another one here says a message from Givenchy on your appointment says Hasha Givenchy is pleased to announce the appointment of Matthew M. Williams as creative director effective on June 16th uh, Matthew M. Williams will take on all creative responsibilities for the women's and men's collections why he's doing both women's and men's amazing I didn't realise that uh, Sydney Toled Toledano chairman CEO of the MH Fashion Group declares I am very happy to see Matthew M. Williams join the LVMH group since he took part in LVMH prize we have had a pleasure to watch him develop into the great talent he is today I believe his singular vision of modernity will be a great opportunity for Givenchy to write his new chapter um, with the strength and success I wonder if the collaboration he did with Dior was a good little primer to this was that part of the interview process because we heard rumors of him being linked to Givenchy maybe five to six months ago would that be part of the, the interview process right kind of like I wonder how they do it when they headhunt you does that do they make a short list of people they want approaching or do they kind of introduce themselves to you regardless and sort of get a feel on what you're doing if you're negotiating with somebody else and then maybe they use an opportunity or maybe they kind of place you in contact with somebody like a Kim Jones or put the word in behind the scenes so that he can collaborate with you is that a thing that happens or is it just a kind of a serendipity that you happen to have your friend Kim Jones work at Dior he wants you to work alongside him and you kind of say hey Givenchy look at the other stuff I'm doing over there I wonder what happens um in that regard uh, but that's cool man it says it continues here it says um Re renewed de lescun de lescun i hope you pronounce that ceo and president of Givenchy states i want to warmly welcome matthew and williams to the beautiful maison Givenchy. i am convinced that with his unapologetic approach to design and creativity in great collaboration with the maison's exceptional ateliers and teams matthew will help Givenchy reach its potential so yeah congratulations to him man like well deserved if anyone in the street where um sphere world deserves this role is him i do think it's something he dreamed of for a while he was pivoting away from you know the conventional streetwear tropes for a while and moving away into fashion um i feel like a leaks in the last few years has really 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 kind of come into his own um you see it in the presentation you see it in the shows you see it in the popularity in terms of the stuff that kids wear all the time i love the stuff he does with leather with the leaks um some of the modular stuff he does with the shoes is really sensational the detailing is incredible um really high quality i can't wait to see what he does going forward and uh, he's even got his bio as well Givenchy created director man so congrats to him what a what a come up what a fucking come up congratulations